Okay, so I have to redo this tutorial. It's gonna be by myself this time. So chickens in space, eighth level. We're gonna start off by doing a respawn jump so we can skip a lot, uh, a lot of objectives here. This primary objective, really. Um, do it specifically as the second player. You wanna have the second player do the setup and have the first player kill himself because uh, well, you're about to see why. After we do the respawn jump, we just drop out the second player. You can land on that, like, pipe thing. Like, it's very easy to jump onto with the respawn jump. The next thing we're going to do is a swap jump. It's a bit of a timed one. You don't have to run. I just like to run for it. I don't know how I'm getting it every time. It's a little weird. If you're having trouble with that, use the satchel charge right here and do a swap jump that way. Very easy to do. Now, there's this cutscene here. So you don't want to go through this hall, and you don't want to get, like, past this egg. At least for now. I don't remember the exact setup. Or the exact trigger size. That's what I mean. Yeah. So yeah, run like this. Now we're going to pull out a secondary item. When you throw it against the door, we believe that it uh, touches the other side. It's supposed to be uh, locked. That door's supposed to be locked because we're not supposed to get there yet. This level's supposed to wrap around. Uh... But because we open the door from the other side, we can just go through it. So this next objective, we're supposed to destroy these gas tubes. Um, okay, let's just get this guy. I don't know why he's here. <laughs> okay. So, if you have a second controller, you can, if you have a gamepad, you can skip all of this. But unless you have a, you know, unless you don't have a gamepad, and, or you're just doing co-op, uh, you have to do it the normal way. So, I'll explain to you how to do the, the, the like, the skip. With the, like, I'll explain the setup, but I'm not going to show it right now. You want to stand in between this white line and this stair, this last step. Uh, it's not tight. It's a very, like, wide trigger. If we go past this, we're going to activate a cutscene, and it's going to close that door over there. So, when you do touch this, you just want to spawn in the second player and do this. But we're not going to do that right now. So if you don't, if you're not doing that, just run into the trigger. It's going to close this door here. And we're going to unlock, we're going to expose these gas tubes and this elevator is going to open. So there's an easy way to do this. There's a few ways to do this. You throw it, you can use these, uh, yeah, you can use these, mo uh, cocktails to your advantage. You can also use a satchel charge, like, you want to make sure to hit the ceiling. Yeah, there we go, because it falls down. You can do it the normal way if you want to, but this is a really nice, fast way to do it. Alright, so something I just found out is that if you did the gas tubes already, then this door will just stay locked even when you throw items at it. Uh, but yeah, if you did the gas tube skip, then you can throw a secondary item, a boom bear specifically, I would, you would, I would prefer um, to open the door. But if you're doing co-op, you have to have both of these players meet each other. We're not going to do that right now, but they have to stay here. There we go. Yeah, we skip that cutscene too when we do that, uh, when we do gas tube skip. So now we're just running through this straight hallway. Remember that there's always, I don't know why I didn't think about it, but there's always these boxes here behind that first door. So you can just destroy one easily by shooting, but I was not paying attention at all. Okay. So we just skip the a, a portion of the level. We just jump into that. We just keep hugging that wall, and we'll just keep uh, we'll, we'll jump in here. It's very easy, very very easy to do. 
You can go ahead and grab these if you want, these health packs. You don't need to worry about reloading, honestly. Because there's a good chance you haven't used any guns by now except to shoot that one box. Uh, okay, so we switched to Brian and we kill them. This chicken like this. It has three different phases. Once it's knocked out, we can uh, turn this crank here. There's this lever. So don't run these near these eggs because they're going to uh, the hatch and then more chickens spawn. There's still going to be chickens anyway, so you want to keep be careful about it. So once she starts throwing these items at you, that uh, eventually this lever will be able to be pulled again. So while you're pulling the lever, just swap and you'll be safe. We just keep doing this over and over. What? Okay, weird. Never had that happen before. Wow, wait, that was an insta- okay. I like how I new shit's happening in this tutorial, but yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, <sighs> I hope I made that clear.